Marcus Vasquez is believed to be the first WKU athlete to be a member of both a bowl team and an NCAA tournament team in the same school year. He says it's a blessing for which he's extremely thankful. On December 26, Marcus Vasquez was in Detroit playing wide receiver in the school's first appearance in an FBS bowl game. The next night, he was wearing a Hilltopper basketball uniform as the Tops took on FIU at Diddle Arena. I drove down, my mom from Detroit drove down the night and came to shoot around the next morning, 12 o'clock, and I was here ready to play on the court. That's crazy. You know? So does that whole 24-hour time period seem like a blur? Nah, nah, that'll never be a blur. I mean, I, I, I enjoyed the bowl game. I had fun in the bowl game. But after the bowl game, he and quarterback K1 Jakes were ready to switch gears and help another Hilltopper team any way they could. At that time, we were really short on players just because of a lot of the injuries and everything. And when they came, it was just a big help for us because Coach knew that we had some guys that we can put in the game that he knew uh, we're going to be very competitive out there because of you know, their drive on the football field. The Division I athletes were welcomed with open arms. We knew what they were bringing already, so it was no questions asked on our team of the, the players. We trust the coach. You know, we, we always trust him because he brought us in here. Jake's left the team after a couple of weeks to focus on football, but Vasquez is still here, relishing every moment. Not a lot of people have this opportunity, you know, the, the, the experience I'm having. You know, I just thank God every day I wake up this. From when I'm alive and from when I get to enjoy this experience that's you know, in front of me. In his words, regardless of the sport. I just try to do whatever I can do, you know, to help the team. And I'm a topper. The Hilltoppers take on Kansas in the NCAA tournament tomorrow night just before 9 central time. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.